August 1962, the Soviets deliver nuclear missiles to Cuba, just 90 miles from U.S. shores. U-2 flights reveal nuclear weapons storage sites, 22 nuclear bombers, and nine nuclear missile sites. Within the past week, unmistakable evidence has established the fact that a series of offensive missile sites is now in preparation on that imprisoned island. Americans prepare for nuclear Armageddon. The U-2 is built for just one thing, high altitude reconnaissance. The U-2s fly on high alert, watching and waiting for the nuclear sites to become active. October 27th, McCoy Air Force Base, Florida. Major Rudolph Anderson takes off in a U-2 bound for Cuba. The Cubans track him, but they've been ordered not to shoot by the Soviet Union. Khrushchev doesn't want to risk an all-out nuclear war. Missile operators on the ground don't get the message. Anderson's U-2 is blown out of the sky. Anderson dies on impact. It is seen as a deliberate act of war. Nuclear war is imminent, but at the 11th hour, Khrushchev and Kennedy make a deal. The Soviets withdraw missiles from Cuba, and the US removes its own missiles from sites near the Soviet Union. 